We thought we would celebrate this time of year with a shopping challenge. Oh, they got Halloween donuts. I can't, I can't tell you why. Everyone's looking at us. Oh, what is this? I'm quite uncomfortable with the looks now. What's happening, Free Game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From our home here in chilly London. Yeah, the cold's coming in, the scarf's on indoors. What more can I say? But what I can say is let us know where you guys are coming live, but not live from. Where are you in the world? What's the weather like there? You're wearing a scarf indoors like this one? Whatever you're doing, let us know in the comments below. Today we have a nice seasonal food shopping challenge for you guys. Yes guys, it's that time of year again when we start moving into autumn, Halloween's on its way, or as some people know as Sawin, although it's spelt like Sam Hain. For us, this time of year is so much more than Halloween. It's a beautiful change of season. Yeah, and traditionally, it's like the last harvest of the year, isn't it? Yeah, it's a time of hunkering down, getting cozy and ready for winter. Hence the scarf. So we thought we would celebrate this time of year and the incoming season with a shopping challenge. So we have a budget of 30 pounds. I think we should do 31. Why? Halloween, 31st of October, it makes perfect sense. Okay, 31 pounds. And we've decided to go to Lidl's because Lidl's is a great budget supermarket. And I looked online and they have so many Halloween themed products right now at really good prices. And they have some massive pumpkins as well. Oh, looking forward to this. Before we head out the door and get this challenge underway, guys, let me share something with you which has really added value to our lives. So guys, what I would like to share with you in today's video is these amazing open earbuds that I've got from One More. These are a great brand that offer super quality earphones as well as other consumer electronics at really affordable prices and you know we like affordable prices guys and what we've got here is the s30 open earbuds and i tell you what guys these have changed our lives in multiple ways more ways than we thought they could i love the nice smart but yet simple case that they come in it means it's easy to take them around with you wherever you want to go and easy to charge with just the port at the back there as well. The actual earbuds themselves are really, really light, only weighing 10 grams, which means they're not too much strain when you do wear them. That's been always a problem with me, headphones or earphones sometimes being uncomfortable or weighing too much, feeling uncomfortable in the ears, but these are absolutely perfect. To be honest guys, I've always been resistant to having any kinds of earbuds or earphones. I've always found them uncomfortable or they're not secure enough and they tend to fall off when I go running or do any sort of workout. But these have got the perfect balance of being secure and that minimal weight as I mentioned. So with their hook design that goes over the ear and keeps it secure, combined with their open design where the actual earbud sits over the ear and not in the ear, means it's not only comfortable, but it's practical as well to use and it can help boost your sports mood and help you with working out, walking, whatever exercise you want to do or however you want to use them on the go. What's always been a dilemma for me is either having uncomfortable earphones or ones that are connected on a wire flapping around while you're running. But with the S30, I don't have those problems at all. They are so easy to connect with your phone or whatever device you have over Bluetooth. In fact, they just do it automatically as well, which I love. And also as the Bluetooth range is up to 10 meters, it means I don't have to carry my phone around with me if I'm doing housework or like the other day in the garden, I was in the shed but yeah, it still all stays connected and I hear my music fine. They have such easy functionality as you can turn them on and off with a simple double tap on either one. What I have to stress as well is the quality of sound with these. It is unbelievable, guys. And that is all due to their very, very intelligent design. As inside there is a 14.2 millimeter ultra large diamond-like diaphragm coil. And that combined with the low frequency enhancement algorithm means you get really high quality, crisp and clear audio. Like I said, they charge very, very easily. And once charged, you can have up to 30 hours of battery life which could turn into 10 hours of consistent listening, which is amazing. They also have an IPX5 waterproof rating, which means I can go running in all kinds of weather and not worry if I'm sweating on them as well. You also can have the One More app as well, which gives you more functionality, more control, more features as well to help improve your experience with using the earbuds. 
I will put a link in the description. So not only can you check out the S30 earbuds, but you can check out all range of One More products. And if you use our on-screen code, you can also get yourself a discount as well. Alternatively, if you go via their Amazon store, you can click on the 10 pound voucher to get 10 pounds off. So I thoroughly recommend you follow the link in the description to see all of their great products. Right, now let's get to this challenge. Oh, before you even step in, pumpkins outside. Large pumpkins. Look Those at that are one. huge. Oh. I guess we have to get one of these if I it's like an autumn it. Halloween kind of shop, eh? Yeah. And I know a lot of people throw theirs away, but we actually eat owls. We make all kinds of things with them. We're getting two, are we? Yeah, two, two. About that size one. Okay, big one, small one? Hang on, it says large pumpkin. That is not large in comparison. You're right there, you struggled a bit with that one. Okay, so we're getting nice autumn food, nice warm, orangey. Anything orange. Nice warming foods as well for this time of year. You know the yeah. type of food. Jojo would be happy because that means easy peelers. Yeah, I just saw some actually. Ooh, more orange they stuff. They've got organic carrots. It's really nice to make pumpkin and carrot soup. That will be really nice. That's going to be the orangiest soup you've ever known. Oh, they have actually Halloween themed stuff. Yeah, I told you they had Halloween themed. Orange packaging, it's clear, isn't it? Yeah, and this, and these oh. pumpkin patch cakes. I literally didn't look at those because they weren't orange. Twiglets. Comment below for you going, who doesn't love a Twiglet? To be honest, they taste like Marmite, so it's going to be you either love them or hate them, I think. It's going to be one. We love them. We do. Should we get some? Two, mm. 225. 225. Uh, maybe come Let's back. think about it. We'll see what the budget's going. £31. Pounds, so. Oh, what is this? No way. It's Halloween cereal. Should we get that for Jojo? Spooky rings. So, oh, right, they're like chocolate rings. And what and are these ones? Pumpkin spice faces. Oh, I bet they're nice. Just pick one, though, I think. No, no, no. I'm going to get both. They've got another one. No, that's that one. Oh, yeah, look. This is the third one. Trick or treat. Oh. What is it? Trick Don't or treat. Oh my goodness. I, I bet it's going to be sound like it's nice tasting or it's not like trick or treat. Yeah. Sweet or sour maybe. You're getting all three. Yeah. I'm getting all three. It doesn't take much for you to just go over the top, does it? They're only one ninety nine. But three of them, that'll be six quid. That's a fifth of the budget already. All right. Which ones look just nice? Just pick one. Okay. I, I like the... Pumpkin spice, that sounds yeah. nice. Yeah, okay. It? Let's just pick one. I'll tell you what. No, 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 I'm picking two. Oh, she's going for two, all right. It's clear who's in charge of this challenge, eh? Making all the calls. Do you know what I like? Over here, they've got wedged in between the cereal and the Twiglets, some crackers, but look at all the decoration. It's clearly Christmassy. Yeah, they're bringing in the Christmas stuff already, aren't they? No, it's not that challenge yet. Oh, they got Halloween donuts. I love it. You just put orange and black on stuff and it makes it Halloween stuff. Yeah. Simple as that. Oh, so we could do like Marmite with oranges. We found the Halloween Ooh. sweets. Four ninety nine for a tub. Well, these ones, which are they like? Shaped like spiders. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, you can imagine putting a prank on someone with those, couldn't you? Yeah. We do need sweets though, but we'll think about this because that's a that's a lot of the budget. Sorry, what do we need sweets? For the children. Oh right, around. yes, of course. And maybe for the adults who just sit at home. Uh, what are you doing? Trying to find some nice cheap apples. Why apples? They're because not orange. We, no, we can put the skewers in and make toffee apples. Or chocolate. I've got so much chocolate left over from Rogers that I can melt the chocolate and dip gonna, the apples in there. You're going to melt Budja Budja on there, are you? Maybe not the Budja Budja. <laughs> it's crazy the contrast of how much we've got in the trolley already. I feel like it's twice as much as what we got at Harrods. I'm like... Our budget must be gone by now, but no, we've, we've still got loads left. It up. We've, we've still got, filled it up. Yeah, we've still got loads of budget left though. I prefer this. Harrods was a nice experience though. Yeah, it's definitely worth checking that out if you haven't seen it already, guys. Well, no, 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 not, not in here. It's an orange food, you know. Beans! Surely we've got to get a couple of tins, right? Do you know what? They're really good on jacket potatoes. Jacket potatoes, oh. jacket potatoes are like a staple food this time of year, aren't they? With what? Bonfire night, jacket potato with beans. Beans! Stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm quite uncomfortable with the looks now. Yeah. 
I can't tell why. Everyone's looking at us. I need Jojo here. I need him no, back. He's, he's at activity school. I need him back. They've got Heinz beans on offer. Down there, they have a six pack for like four pounds something. But these are only 28p. You just get a couple? You Twin get four of these. That's going to be like just over a pound. Matt, I like it. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. See? Orange. Does this count? Orange packet bread, just a certain brand. Not it's got really. nothing to do with Halloween. What about orange stickers? Oh, mini no. pumpkins. Those are cool. These are these are really like edible nice. ones or they just yeah. display? We ate them before. Did we? And I'm still alive, so. Are you? You look kind of ghosty to me. But look at all of these squashes as well. These are only 95p, so. What, even the bigger ones? Oh yeah, it says it's seasonal squash. Yeah, you get a few different ones, yeah. I like this collection. We've just found out from a member of staff who overheard us and said, actually, it's 95p per kilo. So that's going to be a lot because these weigh a lot. So I'm going to put those back. But these are 59p for one of these. You're going to get another one? Should we get another one of these? Yeah, go on. They're very cute. What are you looking at now? I'm just going to get a tiny piece of ginger. Mm, does that count? For the pumpkin soup. I think that will be about 10p's worth. You're estimating what it is, yeah? Wait a minute. It's £5.49. It weighs nothing. Per kilo? It doesn't weigh hardly, hardly anything. So you reckon 10p, do you? Something like that. I don't know. Maybe 20 it looks like a little dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. A dog's Halloween thing? Oh. I'm going to get some nice jacket potatoes to go with the beans. Yep. These are big ones. They're nice big ones. They're just lovely this time of year. Mm. We've Would just had to do some weighing of the potatoes. So it's 1.3. So that works out just under a pound, I think, for those three of them. Yeah, Harrods, got... how much was it for a potato? <laughs> Don't see much in the way of all orange stuff. Hang about. Orange. orange. Does that mean it qualifies? Um, yeah, but I prefer to get some burgers. We have a nice um, some burgers on bonfire night. Although we're not having a bonfire or fireworks, but it'd be nice to just have some nice um, burgers. Wouldn't it? You're just making it up as you go along, ain't you? Oh, these are. Everyone has burgers this time of year. So these are the beetroot burgers. We've, I think we've had these before. We they're have really had them nice. before. They're really nice, and they're more of a healthier version as well. And they're only one seventy nine for two. Guys, I'm just bringing it to your attention. She's bypassed the stuff. That's growth. No, no, no. Don't get distracted. On you go. Come on now. See, this is what we want. If you needed any more indication of Halloween stuff, look no further than the display of orange and the word Halloween everywhere. Oh, it's a sweet treat. And uh, Halloween is all about sweet treats as well. But look, it goes all the way to the end. Oh my goodness. And they have props as well. Broomsticks. Literally, it's like orange and black tinsel. So what we got here is it all is this all sweets isn't it no it's not look oh got, my goodness we've got pasta we've got halloween pasta what sort of shapes are we looking at it it's like a bat spider is that a foot or a hand or something i don't know spider yeah a pumpkin oh yeah it shows them up here mm. i feel like it's a reoccurring theme as well that everywhere we go we have to buy pasta <laughs> we, <have. laughs> we could do a video comparing pasta at every food place in the UK. True. Because we've done it. Yeah, it's £1.29. That's a bit more pricey than usual of what you get for a pasta in here. Not compared to Harrods and TK Maxx. Yeah. It reminds me of the TK Maxx one with all the shapes. With all the, all the colours mm. as well. Also, we've got some chilli wasabi and barbecue flavour coated nuts. I bet they are delicious. And it's an orange pack, so what more do you want? Exactly. These are 119. Quite good. Yeah, lots and lots of sweets. It seems like wow. every one is like one pound twenty-nine. Yeah, one pound ninety-nine. Yeah, different sizes and different types, isn't Jelly it? Jelly beans, they're good because they're in individual packs as well for the. For so they're good to give out for the children. Yeah. There's these ones as well, which are like hard-boiled sweets, and they're in the individual wrapping. However, if you put it all in a bucket, and kids sometimes just take as much as they want. Yeah, some kids are a bit too greedy. Although we don't get as many nowadays. So there's Most of the kids around the area have grown up. Yeah. We just get adults knocking instead. Ooh, what are those? Yeah, right. They're crisps. Oh. Bats and ghosts. Yeah, they got tomato flavoured ones. Oh, pickled onions. Those jo are cool. Jojo will like these. <laughs> Jojo's dad will like these. Okay. <laughs> Other people liked it so much they smashed the sign off. So these are 149 each. That's quite good, isn't it? Mm, oh, you plan on getting both? I want to get both flavours, yeah. I'll give those crisps a very good home. Don't worry about it. No, you won't. Jojo won't even see them. Guys, look at how orange our trolley is. Yeah, I think people are actually looking at us because of our 
It's created a glow onto you. You look orange. Do you know what? My mind is so warped from the last two shopping challenges where we did TK Maxx and Harrods and didn't get much. And we've got all this food here and it just doesn't seem right. I'm very happy though. What are you laughing at? No, this is Christmas. That doesn't count. What if it's orange? No, <laughs> yeah, chocolate orange. Look at some of this stuff here. Oh, this looks so nice. Look at this sausage and cranberry wreath. I don't know about you, the decoration on that definitely looks like Halloween to me. This is Christmassy thing. No, it's Halloweeny stuff. You said when it's cold and hunkering down, cooking warm food, this fits that description. What is this? What have you found? Have you? I swear you found an orange stripe. Oh, mushroom. These are only two two forty nine. Look. Do you know what? I'll be honest. This does look like Christmas. It's got holly yeah, and stuff, but, but this is not. See, it's this time of year, warming, lo lovely. And, and look, look, look. Cozy. And it's kind of got this orangish line no, on black. I would say that. The pies are like orange the, on top. They're orangey, yeah. Yeah, these are only 2 49 each. I think we should get these. That's a really nice, lovely, warming autumn meal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm nice. on board, I'm on board. Yeah. So we're nearing the end of our budget, we've only got a couple of quid left, so important decisions. So yeah, she's putting that back. I can't stop looking at all the Christmas stuff. We have to come here and do a Christmas shopping haul video. I need to we drag you away to. now. Right, so we've got a few pounds left. Let's see what our other um, Halloween autumn products they have. Yeah. Orange stuff, basically. Oh, wow, they have even more. More Halloween donuts, Halloween pizzas, more Halloween pizzas. More Halloween donuts and even an orange cake. Online they had Halloween potato shapes, but I can't find them. Well, in that case, we just, just get chips. That counts, right? They're kind of orange. Oh, look at this. Look at the amount of orange on there, come on. Sweet potato fries. The actual product's orange, forget the packaging. Sweet potato fries? Ooh. I don't know. I'm freestyling Or here. should we just get some sweet potatoes as well? That's a, that's a really nice ingredient for soup, isn't it? Maybe, yeah. This is going to be a big soup. No, carrot and uh, sweet potato soup. Really Orange nice soup, well. basically. Yeah. You found some sweets of sorts? I'm trying to, like, let the kids be healthy. They're individual packs in there? Yeah. They're like fruity sweets. They're made with fruit for the kids. And kind of orange box they're you're just doing it automatically without even knowing exactly i think these be nice we don't get a lot of kids coming around so if we do we've got something for halloween of course yeah i thought the budget was nearly out because we're nearly at 30 quid but then i remembered of course it's 31 quid so we're going to try and get some sweet potatoes with that like one pound 72 left one, yeah however onions look pretty orange now we're going to go for sweet potato oh do they have them loose so they've got a bag for £1.9 and then they've got loose ones as well. So these loose ones are £1.9. Nine. It's the same price for the ones in bag. So it's a, it's a kilo of a bag, so right? we might as well just get the loose ones and try and estimate how much we, we use get. the scales. How much did you say is left? One 172. Let's use the scales. I okay. can figure it out. All right. So I figure about 1.7 kilos and that'll be our, the rest of our budget. This is a tense moment, guys. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's 1.8. Take one on. Okay, we, we're airing on the side of caution here, eh? Yeah. What okay. Yeah. So that's 1.5, so I think we, we'll still be in budget. Okay. I did not see this aisle. Why? Oh, it's the other end of this one. But don't get too distracted. Is any of this in the theme of what we're doing? Or there is an orange box of something. And I don't know. These are like spicy crisps. Spicy crisps. But I don't know if they're anything to do with how we're just going with there's orange this is getting pretty wow, weak now I bet they're nice. organic sandwich cream I also bet like nice. salad cream I haven't seen that one before I think next time we're here get some of this stop looking ahead and planning ahead for other challenges okay two for three pounds as well you can't plan ahead this challenge right now okay, okay. I think we're done anyway on the budget okay check out the, our trolley guys that's a good haul. It looks awesome. Okay, let's go home, see if we manage to stay in budget and we'll show you guys everything we got. We are back guys with our Halloween autumn very orange looking haul. Yes, I assure you this is all orange food. There's nothing wrong with your screen. This is the best looking haul we've ever done. It looks the, so the nice. good ones and they look good. Except for the yellow, when we, Asda. No, this is better. Orange is my favourite colour, so this one wins. I'm really, really happy with everything we got. We got some nice, fun Halloween treats. We've got some fun things that Jojo liked, the cereal but we've got the warm, hearty autumn meals as well, the jacket potatoes, the pumpkin soup. We'll obviously carve something very special 
out of the pumpkins first. Are we doing that, are we? Yeah, of course we are. But we, we do always eat them. I know a lot of people just like leave them outside and smash them up. Smashing pumpkins, that does come from somewhere. That Isn't is, that a rock band? But it's a saying because people just smash them up afterwards. But I just, I don't like wasting food. So we always use them, we make a nice soup. I'm going to start up a band called Eating Pumpkins. That's a good idea. You can't sing though. <laughs> there is that. You can play the guitar though. A bit, yeah. Yeah. Also, we excited to make the sweet potato and carrot soup and the burgers. We didn't get mm. buns though. That was not in the budget. But we have flour in our pantry that we can make buns with. I'm looking forward to these crisps. I know they might seem a very strange thing for me to be interested in. I'm not phased by the fact that they are spectacularly spooky, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the pasta will be fun. Jojo will enjoy that. That is well. the most important thing. If we don't get pasta in a shop, then there's a problem. I tracked the budget on a calculator as we went, and it actually worked for once. The calculator didn't let me down. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? But the ginger, it does actually look like a dog. Okay. So I might have to do a close up on this, but you mentioned it earlier that it looks like a dog. Yeah, but he doesn't ginger. have to go barking like it in the video. <sighs> We're talking about the budget, not a potentially barking dog ginger piece. That was only 7p, I told you. Nice. I think Because I estimated like 20p. Yeah, we actually came in under budget at £30.69 for all of this food. £30.69. It's a good thing we made it a £31 budget, eh? Yeah, it just shows you, you can go to a place like Lidl's, get some fun food for Halloween and some nice autumn meals as well. But do you know what? We've got a good variety because we've got fresh stuff. Fruit, veg, we've got meals, we've got some frozen bits. We didn't bring the pies out. Ah, the pies are in the freezer. Yeah, these pies have been here the whole time. The whole time, yeah. 100%. We didn't just edit them in. No, we actually put these in the freezer because we were like worried that we, they were going to defrost because we're not eating them straight away. So we put them in the freezer and then forgot to bring them out. But these look absolutely delicious. So mm. yeah, I'm really excited to have those pies as well. Yeah, we, we've got a brilliant... We did all right. It's, you could put, this is a really good haul for 31 pounds. Yeah, it's the most beautiful haul we've done. We'd love to hear your comments though, guys. Is it the most beautiful? we love to hear from you. But that's where we end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you all in the next video. Just remember, no matter where you are in the world, you guys always stay free. And just keep rising.